Okay, so I'm Steven from Haven for Gamers, just doing an interview on Thought of War Ascension. Oh yeah. My name is, My name is uh, Aaron, just underscore Tank Kaufman, I'm the community manager on God of War. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So I heard that the release date is March 16th, is that right? Who told you March 16th? I don't know. You're, you're four days late, it's March 12th, 2013. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> so I noticed that there's a multiplayer mode on this now. Yeah. What made you guys want to do that now? Well, one of the, the things about multiplayer with our game is our team likes to call it the, the titan of God of War Ascension. So, you know, in God of War 3, it was all about some of those big battles with Kronos, for example. Yes. And something that a lot of people don't know is our, our multiplayer, one of the early prototypes for it was the Kratos versus Kratos bonus arena in God of War 3. Ah. And, you know, in that, that was kind of the team's first time at doing, um, you know, combat like that. And so, you know, they started to think, you know, hey, you know, maybe we have something here. And I think you know the deal with multiplayer is uh, the team wanted to push themselves further. It was uh, it was a new challenge for them, and they felt like you know why not? We need to push ourselves. We we know how to create epic single player campaigns, so let's try and create an epic multiplayer um, mode. And I think uh, I think we're there. I think we're there. So what's the story behind the ascension? Because like Kratos was all mad. He's still mad. I'm assuming. <laughs> but well, you know there, there there's a human side to Kratos. So the deal with God of War Ascension is it takes place six months after he's tricked into killing yeah. um, his wife and daughter you know, by the, right. by the God of War Ares. And he finds himself cast in this prison called Hecaton Kyries, which is controlled by these evil beasts called the Furies. And we actually just revealed our first Fury, Megara, um, at our panel yesterday, and you can see the trailer online right now. I can't get into single player too much further, but essentially Kratos is trying to break the bond that he has with Ares, that blood oath that he oh, sacrificed um, with Olympus. And so that's really the journey that I the see. player is going to go on in God of War Ascension. And they're also going to learn about the human side of Kratos, which is really something we want players to understand. You know, he is, at this point, he's, he's a man that's being pushed to the edge, but it's kind of at the point before he goes all mental, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, what would you do if you just learned that you were tricked into killing your wife and daughter? What limits would you be pushed to? Uh, yeah. And I think uh, fans are going to be really, um, they're going to be really excited to see the different, the, you know, the different sides of Kratos that they're going to see in this game. Yeah. I'm actually a huge fan. I just, I was able to demo it yesterday, but I couldn't get an interview. And I noticed that not, like, not much has changed in the single player mode. I wasn't able to demo the multiplayer, but I really like the fact that, you know, things have been kept the same, but there's more details and everything yeah, absolutely. like that. Well, you know, it's, it's, we actually have upgraded the single player campaign quite a bit. We've got a number of new combat mechanics, one of which is called our World Weapon System, which allows Kratos to steal weapons from various enemies, which he can then use as a secondary weapon. He can also now grapple and tether enemies and use them like a, like a wrecking ball yeah. while he's using the blades at the same time he might be dragging an enemy yeah, with I his chains and cool. using you know, a spear or a hammer with his yeah. other hand. Another really cool thing is we've added hand-to-hand -hand combat. So oh, now I you really, that. yeah. So now I you can really feel the punches and the kicks of Kratos, and we're finding that players are really enjoying the hand-to-hand because -hand, you really I feel like they're far. moving back. And we're kind of saying to ourselves, like, man, why didn't why didn't we do we this, you know, earlier yeah. on? You know, um, another new mechanic is called our life cycle mechanic. So this allows Kratos to manipulate time, and he can yeah, bend that. objects. That was really and so cool. what, this, this mechanic it has it has two very distinct uses. One of which is going to be for puzzles, and it's yeah. not the only way you'll solve puzzles. But it's as you can see in the demo where he has to put the construction yes. back together and figure really out the right cool. way. Another one is actually in combat. So kind of like Matrix style, he oh, can slow time okay, down and freeze that. enemies, and use all the different attacks to you know to get rid of them. So. There actually are a lot of new things in single player that we're excited for our fans to uh, to discover. Ah, and there's a far deeper combat system. And uh, we're just, again, we're really excited about it. Okay, good. I'm glad that you told me that because I only got to a little bit of it. <laughs> and I was like already super excited when I just started playing it yeah, again. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're playing the demo, sometimes it's a little difficult to immediately notice. Just everything, yeah. But this is just a slice, right? Yeah. And when you start from the beginning of the game, you're going to get into all these different things and you're really going to discover it. And, you know, we want to make sure that we focus on these different combat mechanics so fans understand there is a lot more than there's been in God of War 1, 2, and 3. Well, thank you so much for your time. That yeah, answers a lot of my questions. Thank you. Do you guys have any other questions? Oh, you're good. Actually, I guess I have a bit of a question. It's, it's Quan now. Um, <laughs> I, I, I like the baton hand. Yeah, I guess in terms of multiplayer, it's um, 
So you just everybody uses a different hero, or is it you know a bunch of Kratos running around? How does that work? No. So the deal with multiplayer is um, essentially the, the story behind multiplayer is the gods of Olympus have incited this war amongst the Trojans and Spartans, and the Trojans and Spartans are battling for favor of the gods. They're battling to become champions of Olympus, champions of the gods. And so what you're going to do as the player is you are going to create your warrior and you're going to pledge your allegiance to one of four gods, Zeus, Ares, Poseidon, or Hades. Each of these different gods is going to offer you um, a variety of complex different moves, weapons, armors, magics, feats and perks that you can unlock. It's really like a, a, a deep class system, very much like a, um, you know, a battlefield or a Call of Duty where you can upgrade and you can go into battle with these different loadouts and determine, you know, do I want to be the, the magi kind of guy, the magician, or do I want to be the, you know, the up close and personal heavy combat guy, or maybe I want to be an all around warrior. And so you're going to have all these different choices that you can make depending on the god that you align with. And you'll be moving up in a class level system where you're gaining XP and unlocking, you know, more powerful weapons, more powerful armor. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's very deep, it's, it's very, very deep. And I think we're, uh, we're very excited again for for fans to explore each of the different paths that they can go down with these various warriors. Maybe they're gonna switch back and forth. So that's essentially the, the, the mechanic behind multiplayer with your warrior. And you know, the, again, you are the warrior who is battling for favor of your god, and you're trying to become a, a champion of the god and a champion of Olympus and a hero for your state. Sounds good, that sounds really exciting. Look forward to trying that out. Uh, I guess my last question is, is there any connection between the single and multiplayer mode? For example, if you're doing really well in single player, you're unlocking a lot of stuff. Does that translate into anything in the multiplayer at all? We're still exploring some uh, some mechanics like that. There is a story element that I can't reveal right now where how you start your journey in multiplayer will be something that fans will find very similar to how you begin your journey um, in God of War Ascension with Kratos. And so we're, uh, we're pretty excited to reveal that when the game comes out. Um, but that's as much as I can go into right now as far as multiplayer.